Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Let's continue, let's shuffle this deck four times for you. Let's see what happened in the past, what went wrong, what were the challenges there. Lots of waiting, but no progress. Doing lots of work, but not producing results. And that was because somebody didn't work, want to work on this connection, was feeling quite withdrawn, holding back tightly, not wanting to be vulnerable until they left and dropped the connection completely. That's what I'm getting. Now let's see about what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of. You're thinking a lot about a message. Now, either this happened in the past or you think if it happens it may uh, result like this. So it's about offering a proposal but getting rejected. You either think that if you send a proposal, they, re they will reject it or they are not interested anymore, or it happened in the past and you think a lot about that and it is affecting you in your subconscious. Now let's see about how do you view the situation with them. You believe that uh, the connection is not in a good position at all. You may be feeling alone, rejected, and... It seems like the connection has ended completely, but at least you think that if uh, there was mutual respect and cooperation, maybe the friendship or you'd see each other differently, eye to eye. Or there may be an attempt to restore or recover this situation, even though you have lost almost uh, complete hope that uh, this connection will um, be recovered. Now let's see more details. Your focus is communication to get more clarity. So you want to talk, but uh, you want to avoid at all costs a conversation that may lead to arguments. And uh, your hope is finding happiness, balance, harmony into a new connection with them or with a new relationship. Your greatest fear is that they may not want this connection anymore, that they have lost feelings and love for you. That is your greatest fear, that they lost feelings. Now let's see about what are the current energies for you. You may be feeling distant emotionally with them, but you want to recover it you're still wanting to believe that healing, trying to recover this relationship will at least relieve that big dream that you once had about a long-term happy relationship. You think that there's lots of passion, passion and attraction there, but the connection is highly unstable, very dramatic and heavy. Now let's see about them. What are their energies towards you at this moment? For this, let's shuffle this other deck four times. Now, if you think they are avoiding you, here's the real truth. So let's shuffle four times. Yes, they are avoiding you, in fact. They are avoiding you because of some dishonesty that happened. I'm getting them deciding to stay single for now. They have some desire to put some balance, give attention and energy into this relationship. That's what they keep thinking a lot about. But they are resisting to express feelings. 
uh, and they are trying so hard with themselves, so they are with that inner conflict, to not stay in that position of thinking and contemplating so much about the past, but to move on and find a new connection. So that's what I'm getting. They are trying to keep their options open. They have some confusion about uh, the connection being highly dramatic and that you would be again in uh, dramas with each other. So they are taking a break, trying to take a break, avoiding face-to-face -face conversation uh, with you. But it's interesting that they still think about this possibility of wanting to give attention. Why is that? Why do they think about that? To give attention to you. Sometimes it feels like if they would come back they just give tidbits of uh, breadcrumbs. So, anyway, let's see why the Six of Pentacles. Okay, they feel empty. They have a void in their love life. Not feeling fulfilled. Not feeling happy. That's why they want to come back. But they believe it has ended completely and that's why they are guarded. So that's what I'm getting. They're trying so hard to postpone any communication, to move on with their life, to avoid the situation, but still, from time to time, any day, they have this thinking about giving to the connection because they feel unfulfilled, unloved, and they're not doing anything because they think it has ended. They're not acting upon this thought, and that's why they are... Uh, very guarded. Anyway, I want to view more details about them in the extended of this reading, where I will cover what kind of feelings do they have towards you, let's see about their feelings, how do they view you from the outside, what are their intentions for now, what are the mutual energies and the energies around each one of you. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Or if you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching, see you the next reading and bye for now.